Good day, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I, I welcome you to Healing Streams today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm happy that you are connected, you've been waiting. We apologize for the little delay in getting started today. But nevertheless, God is here with us. God is ready for you. God is ready for me. This is your day. This is my day. And something wonderful is coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I welcome every one of you to Healing Stream. Coming to you from Chapel of Freedom International, Adankolo, newly out, Lokoja, Nigeria. And the person speaking to you is your brother, your friend, and your pastor, Bishop Dr. John Ibinu. I'm glad to come across to you today. And I'm glad to be with you in this healing stream. God is going to do something special in your life. The healing power of God is going to flow to every one of you. He's going to heal your nose. He's going to heal your tooth. He's going to heal your bones. He's going to heal your fingers. He's going to straighten every crooked thing in your life. And I'm so excited today because God has asked me to specially remind you today that he's thinking of you. He's thinking of you. God is thinking of you. God is mindful of you. God is touched by the feelings of your infirmities. And that is why we are here on Healing Stream. So I welcome you to Healing Stream today. Um, we take our text from the book of St. Mark, chapter 16, verse 17. St. Mark, chapter 16, verse 17. And then I want you to see what Jesus said. One of the last words of Jesus. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Verse 18. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now, let's go to Mark chapter 11, verse 22 and 23. Mark 11, verses 22 and 23. Jesus answering his disciples said unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said now let me begin by saying all of you should take note that God has given you power God has given me power and I'm going to be speaking on the authority of the scriptures. Now, when a doctor prescribes drug in the hospital, he is depending on his belief that the drugs that have been manufactured, they have power enough to do what he's saying. And he passed through primary, secondary, or secondary, then university. He has learned enough to know how these things work. And he has been subjected to examinations, to practicals. And they are the people who certified him to practice, the people who certified him to practice, are sure that he knows what he is doing and that he is not a danger to society. He is not a danger to human life. And that whatever he says will save life. Where am I going to? Dear saints, when you believe in Jesus, Jesus then commits the life of men and women to your hand. Believing that you will not harm them. You will not injure them. You will not make their case worse. But you make their case better and you will heal them. Now, Jesus called his disciples and then he began to speak to them. And he says in Mark chapter 16, 
verse 17 I am giving you my name it is like empowering a doctor and these signs shall follow them that believe all of you who believe in my name use my name to cast out devils use my name to set free those that are under demonic oppression in my name shall they cast out devils there are sicknesses that are demonic completely 100 percent demonic some are by bacteria and virus and fungus and whatever neoplastic endocrine and or and you know neurological and all kinds and skeletal and all kinds but then jesus gave us his name just like the doctor is giving stethoscope he's giving uh, surgery materials and then drugs in the pharmacies are available for him to to prescribe and then the patients are given Je jesus has also given us his name his name and i want you to know that in his name every sickness in your body every problem in your body is going to be healed today in his name so he said this i shall follow them that believe in my name you shall cast out devils somebody came to me and he said um, there is a snake moving in my body i was preaching in enugu at grace of god mission number two be aware road asata enugu and this lady with the husband they came with a picture of the woman somebody told them that there is a, a, a pastor who has come from kogi state and who is preaching and uh, they believe that if they bring brother woman she, she will be made whole and then the husband said see, see her picture she had reduced to have her size what is her problem he said there is a snake moving in my body he said if that snake moves to my throat even if it's saliva i swallow i must spit it out other times it becomes like a ball if it moves to my waist i cannot stand up if it goes to my brain my brain will be very heavy and I said Jesus has given us his name that in his name we cast out devils and I said this one is beyond the doctor and as a medical doctor I can tell you because I, I, I've had all kinds of experiences many that I can tell you of uh, time will not allow me to be able to tell I, I, as a medical student, Dr. John Ackham told me to female medical ward 2 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, there is this lady who has epilepsy. At, two, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, she'll stop breathing. She'll be warm on the bed. At 5 o'clock on the door, she'll resume breathing. And very confusing scenario. Dr. John Ackham took me 5 minutes to 3. And we sat by her bed. We began to speak in tongue. 3 o'clock she became restless she couldn't leave her body three o'clock he continued to breathe until five o'clock five o'clock he did. <sighs> then he said live here live here live here take me out of here i don't want to stay anymore the father said no uh, we have to come back we came back and he said please we i want you to pray for my daughter because this is the first time she's not leaving her body and uh, uh, mysterious things not to talk about witches and wizards who turn to beds and then afflict nurses. You know, night duty that we have to do a lot of things. Now, Jesus has given us authority and power in his name. And in that name, you will be healed and delivered today. And so we pray for this girl. We got her delivered. And then we say, how did your problem start? She said, her lady friend in the girl's secondary school she was in form two her lady friend gave her a ring and she put it on the second to the last toe of her left leg and at 2 a.m in the night she heard the voice of a man say oh, i move let me lie down helplessly she moved he said the man melted into her and after that her affliction started sexual assault in this dream eating all kinds of things flying up and down sickness 
then eventually she began to have convulsion and epileptic fits we got her delivered we got her saved and that was all now this woman was brought to me in Enugu and as we began to talk I said the Bible said greater is he that is in me than the devil that is in the world and I said the greater one is inside me right now Jesus is inside me and Jesus is light the demon inside you they stand for darkness when light comes darkness must give way Jesus the light in me is here right now every darkness inside you must move right now every darkness must disappear right now and then I began to show him the scripture I say God has you in mind the scripture has you in mind that anyone that is afflicted anyone that is oppressed we shall lay our hand on the sick and they shall recover and in case it's not a sickness if it is a demon we cast it out so I want you to see that in our passage in Mark chapter 16 God has you covered if it is a demon we cast it out if it is a snake in your body we cast it out and if it is a physical sickness we lay our hand and then we deliver you and so as I was talking with the woman and I was talking about the name of Jesus all of a sudden I felt snake coming out of my head I was feeling it and I knew something was already happening in the body of the woman and after about three four minutes the tip of the snake passed out of my head and I started saying madam she looked at me I said right now that snake just left your head and then she did like this he said how did you know I said no something passed out of my head she said when you began to talk about light and darkness and that the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not and that Jesus is light and Satan is darkness and Jesus cannot be sitting here and Satan is sharing the same room with him he said I felt the snake uncoil from my tummy and then it went up and began to go out of my head as soon as the tail passed out that was when you say it, it's gone every one of you hearing me right now who is under any form of demonic affliction i bind that spirit i cast it out of your body right now in the name of jesus hear me anything that is moving in your body some people feel it like ants some people feel it like worms some people feel it like snake some people feel it like crawling something sometimes it go to the head well in medicine in psychiatry they, they used to tell us anybody having those type of feeling is some form of depression or something something but i don't have any problem with that one they are trying to solve a problem and i'm trying to solve a problem in the name of the lord jesus i call them spirits unclean spirits any one of you hearing my voice whether it is you or your child your son or your daughter any form of demonic affliction i want you to turn your attention to what i'm saying and stand in the gap for that child i bind that crawling spirit i bind that moving spirit i cast it out today in the name of jesus every spirit moving in your body i bind it i cast it out of your body in the name of jesus and when you ask me as a pastor and as a medical doctor i can tell you that cancer is a spirit it is demons who say to jesus leave us alone what is a cancer a cancer is a cell in the body of a human being that gets out of control and begins to multiply itself on its own it does not obey anything in your body anything that does not obey rules and regulations is a demon it is demons that say to jesus leave us alone so every form of growth every form of cancer every form of swelling i declare you are all demonic and spirit afflictions i bind you in the body of the saints i bind you in the body of this dear child of god i cast you out in the name of jesus i use the authority of the name of jesus i bind every cancer i bind every unclean spirit i bind every demon and i cast it out in the name of jesus every one of you hearing me let's look at that mark chapter 16 verse 17 and 18 
Jesus covers a lot of ground. In my name you shall cast out devils. That is number one. You shall speak with new tongues. When you speak in new tongues, you confuse the devil. Number uh, verse 17. And they shall take up serpents. That is any snake walking in your body. Any creeping thing. Any ant walking in your body. He says, I shall lay hold on it. I will cast it out of your body. Every one of you hearing my voice. There is a movement in your body. Whether it is ball. Whether it is warm. Whether it is snake. I remember when our church was in Adankolo Primary School, class 3B, at 5 o'clock in the evening on a Thursday, I was sitting down. A lady with her husband brought her mother, who had snake walking in her body. And then, under that torment for seven years, they had been to several deliverance places, including subjecting her to dry fasting for seven days by chaining her leg to a tree. It didn't work. And when they came to me, I sat them down and said, let us look at the scriptures. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall take up serpents. So in the name of Jesus, I am here today to lay hold on that serpent called the devil. On that snake that is walking in your body. When it settles on your neck, you can't turn your neck. When it's in your head, you begin to feel pain. Your head is heavy. When it's in your back, you can't turn your back. When it's on your waist, you can't turn your waist. I bind that spirit. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit. I cast it out of your body. I remember preaching in a crusade in Edo State, Uhumora, after Afuze, near Sabongida Ora for Anglican Church. That was some um, 20-something years back. And then, as I was preaching, I said, there is an old room, as I'm talking right now, there is something like a snake, it looks like a rope. They are pulling it out of your waist right now. They are pulling it out of your waist right now. In the name of Jesus, I uproot that snake, that rope, out of your life in the name of Jesus. The next night, a 71-year-old woman came testifying. And then she said, when you say that they were pulling something out of the waist, and you command in the name of Jesus that that thing be disap move out of my body, he said, I felt a rope around my waist being loosed. Then I went home in the night. And for the first time in 13 years, I went to urinate only twice. If not, I go to urinate up to 15 times every night. 15 times every night for 13 years. I cannot sleep well in the night. But for the first time, I went to urinate only twice. And I slept very well. And I feel healthy. Every one of you hearing me. Whatever is a rope around your waist. Spiritual or non-spiritual. I bind it. I cast it out of your body. For I have received the authority of scripture, the authority of the name of Jesus today to bring you deliverance. So every moving object in your body, every moving object, he comes to your shoulder, he comes to your heart, he comes to your chest, he comes to your lungs, he goes to your stomach, he goes around whatever. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind you serpent. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I stand on the authority of scripture. And I stand on the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. You creeping scripture. You creeping devil. You walking spirit in the body of the saints of heaven. I bind you. I cast you out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to that verse 18 again. Verse 18. And they shall take up serpents. Can I tell you something? Every problem came to us through the serpent, the devil. Through the serpent, the devil. Therefore, every sickness, every disease, every movement, every oppression, every weight, all of them come under the serpent, including masquerades. I 
bind all of them I cast it out of your life in the name of Jesus and if they drink any deadly thing verse 18 and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them the name of Jesus will depoison every poison the name of Jesus will detoxify your body the name of Jesus will unpoison you the name of Jesus will poison you every one of you hearing my voice if somebody shook your hand and you became sick if they put poison on the ground and you matched it and you became sick or if they gave you a drink and since you took that drink you began to cough or if they gave you a food to eat either in the physical or in the dream you got they gave you a food to eat either in the physical or in the dream and since you ate that food and drank that drink since you ate that fish or that bone since you ate that rice or that soup since you took that egg in the dream helplessly you became afflicted this is the day of your deliverance i stand on the authority of the scripture i stand on the authority of the name of jesus christ and i speak to the powers and forces of demons and i declare in the name of jesus that that deadly thing that you took that deadly poison that deadly drug even the drug that you took that is poisoning your body especially anybody hearing my voice who is on chemotherapy or radiotherapy that is poisoning your blood and destroying your blood this is your healing i bind that spirit i cast it out of your body that poison that you took i bind it i cast it out of your body i depoison your body i detoxify your body i command your body cleansed of every poison i stand on the authority of the name of jesus and i bring you healing i bring you deliverance i bring you healing i bring you deliverance in the name that is above every name and i command you be healed listen today today's ministration is a little bit different because i'm ministering to you as a prophet according to hosea chapter 12 verse 13 as a prophet according to hosea chapter 12 verse 13 by a prophet he brought them out and by a prophet they were preserved and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he preserved i am bringing you prophetic healing today i bind every demon i bind every creeping thing i bind every movement in your body i bind every unclean thing that torments you that afflicts you i bind them in the name of jesus i cast them out of your life i stand on the authority of the scripture i stand on the authority of the name of jesus christ i stand on the power of heaven that have empowered me and authorized me to bring you deliverance i bind every demon i bind every serpent i bind every creeping thing i bind every moving thing you say it's in my stomach god sees them i bind them right now i cast them out of your body i bind them right now i cast them out of your body you have a feeling but you've gone to ultrasound they can't see anything the heavens ultrasound divine ultrasound supernatural ultrasound the eye of the holy spirit he sees where the demons are i bind them this day i cast them out of your life every form of poisoning whether they poison you by food or they poison you by remote control or they poison you in the dream wherever it has come from i bind it right now i destroy the poison if they shook your hand and you took poison i want you to stretch your hand to my hand and i command you be made whole in the name of jesus be loosed in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus be set free in the name of jesus so let's get back to that mark chapter 16 verse 18 in my name 
you shall take up serpents. So Jesus is aware of serpents that move in people's body. Not just physical serpents, but snakes that walk in people's body. And by the grace of God, all types of snakes. When we were in Makoti, somebody asked me to pray for a lady. The lady said she needs deliverance because she's sexually assaulted in the dream and she didn't want to go into the scripture. And after sharing the scripture with them, and I said, All right, kneel down, let me pray for you. And I began to pray in the Holy Ghost. And then all of a sudden, I smell a monkey, the smell of a monkey. My father was a hunter, so I know how a monkey smells. The smell of a monkey. He came out of her and passed through me and then went out and I tapped her. What do you know about a monkey? She said the reason I came for deliverance is because in my dream I will see a man coming from afar. When he comes three meters to me, I become paralyzed. He turns into a monkey and then he sexually assaults me. This is what I've been going through for three years and I've sought for deliverance and I said I smell that monkey get out of your body right now every one of you hearing my voice whether it is a snake or a monkey or a frog or a goat spirit or pig spirit or dog spirit or drug spirit or cultic spirit whatever it is I bind it today I cast it out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ every one of you hearing me and even if you are standing in the gap your child cries out of the dream your child wriggles on the bed like a snake I bind that spirit right now I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command you be free in the name of Jesus and I bind that spirit I cast it out of your body and I command you to be made whole I command you to be set free today by a, a prophet he brought them out this is your day of deliverance every Egyptian bondage I terminate it today and I bind every unclean spirit I cast it out of your body now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let's get back to that Mark chapter 16 verse 18 if they drink any deadly thing shall not hurt them any of you who have been going down with a poison poison drug poison food poison by matching poison poison by remote control you are delivered right now in the name of Jesus then they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover every one of you wherever you are hearing me from I want you to stretch your hand towards my hand as I stretch my hand towards your hand I declare if you can't touch my hand if you can't by faith just touch your device and now I want you to place that hand upon your head so your head now your hand on your head has become my hand and I stand on the authority of the scripture with my hand on your head I stand on the authority of the scripture I stand on the empowerment of Jesus Christ that has authorized me this day by saying they shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover I lay my hand on you and I command every sickness die from your body in the name of Jesus every sickness get out of your body in the name of Jesus every sickness disappear from your body in the name of Jesus every sickness come out of your body in the name of Jesus every sickness dry and die and vanish from your body and I command you be made whole today every single one of you be healed every single soul hearing my word whole every single one of you every sickness die from your body every disease die from your body every infirmity I cast them out of your body and you are healed you are loosed you are delivered you are made whole in Jesus name oh what a great service we have had today what a wonderful service this is your day 
I rejoice with you. You have been delivered. Every demon is out of your life. The finger of God has ejected all of them from you. The Egyptians you saw before today, you see them no more. You are free. You are loose. You are free. You are set free. Forever set free. Forever set free. Forever set free. Jesus is Lord. Now let's look at verse 15 of that Mark chapter 16. Verse 15. Verse 15 of that Mark. Jesus said, go into, and he said unto them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Jesus sent me to you today. Jesus has sent me to you today because he loves you and he has you in mind. He loves you. He has you in mind. So he has sent me to you today. Verse 16, and he said, I should tell you that he came to save you. And if you believe in him and you are baptized, you will be saved. If you believe in Jesus, you will be saved from hell fire. If you believe in Jesus, you will be saved from damnation. If you believe in Jesus, your sins will be forgiven. But if you refuse to believe, you will be damned. There will be condemnation. Why? All human beings are sinners. There is nobody who cannot say, I'm not a sinner. And the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is condemnation in hell fire. It's either you are following God or you are following Satan. It's either you surrender your life to God or you live your life in the hand of Satan. And I want you to give your heart and surrender your life to Jesus. Let God take over your life. Let Jesus become the master and the manager of your life. I want you to put your hand upon your chest and invite God to take over your life. Say after me, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive my sin. Wash me sick from every unrighteousness. I accept the death and sacrifice of Jesus Christ for my sin. Jesus, I believe in you. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Heavenly Father, reveal the mystery of salvation to me. Write my name in your book of life. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. If you say that prayer, I want you to know that you have been saved and your sins are forgiven and every sickness is dead from your body and you are made whole in Jesus name the Lord bless you the Lord keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace the Lord be gracious unto you and I mark you with the mark of Christ and I forbid sickness disease, oppressions to harass you peace in Jesus name Amen Tune in same time tomorrow for another edition of Healing Stream. And until then, it's me, your brother, your friend, and your